When you look through the Gospels, you see that one story that pops up in every one is the feeding of the 5,000. But for today, let's look at John's account of this story. This story also gives a warning for future trouble. The crowds were following him because they saw the signs he was doing. We have observed this and we have seen the problem many times in the Gospel of John. And the issue was first highlighted for us in John chapter 2. Many believed when they saw the signs he was doing, but Jesus did not believe in or entrust in himself to, to be, do this because he knew what was in their hearts. They were not following him for the right reasons, basically. The signs were meant to be followed so that the saving faith would be initiated. Jesus condemned these people specifically in John 4. John has shown us the false, non-saving belief of Nicodemus and the Pharisees in chapter 3 and the true saving faith of the Samaritan woman in chapter 4. But when you get right down to it, something greater is being taught here. And this message sets the tone for the chapter as Jesus will declare himself to be the bread of life. Jesus has come so that no one may be lost. All who are gathered to him will be saved. And those who are satisfied in Jesus are gathered and will not be lost. And that's what really matters for today here at the Church of Christ that meets in Leoma, Tennessee.